Careful around the roots, Tweak. Whoa! Careful! Sorry about that, Mrs. Hornbill. We'll be fine. Just as soon as we make it across that rope bridge. Hey! Where'd my scratching tree go? Now, Atif, I'm sorry, but the creatures in that tree were in danger, so we had to move it. Plenty more trees in the forest, matey. We can help you find one, like this one. Sleek, stylish, a real itch scratcher. But I want my scratching tree. <sighs> hey! Come back with that. <sighs> That's it, Tweak. Slow and steady. Yes, steady is good. Please be careful. My wife and chick are inside. Uh, I can do the slow part, but not so sure about steady. <laughs> oh, no, no. Forget slow. A teeth is right at our tail. Hold on, a teeth. Let me pass. That's my scratching tree. No can do, matey. There are creatures in that snag. <gasps> Oh no! Tweak, open the hatch! Thank you, Octonauts, enough. This is even lovelier than our old spot. And just look at that view. I'll be happy to stick around. This will be the perfect spot to raise our family. The Snag Hotel is on the map. But what will Atis do without his special scratching tree? Oh, don't worry, Min. Quasi and I left him something even more special. <gasps> Mulch pile. This feels so good on my itches. Oh, <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. This is the canopy layer, the leafy green treetops. At least it used to be leafy and green. I was afraid of this. Water has to travel all the way up a tree from its roots. So when a tree dries up, the top branches dry out first. No wonder the Howlers had to move down to the understory. There's no shade up here and nothing to eat. This tree is too dried up, I'm afraid. The creatures here need to find a new home very soon. But how can we help? Oh. Ooh. Excuse me, are you OK? Yes, I'm OK. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find a new healthy tree to live in. This one's drying out. Yes, I know, but it's so hot. I'm too weak to move. Deshi the Tweak. We're ready to start the water drop. Just in time. Okay, Dashi, drop away. <sighs> oh. My babies are hatching. Oh. like when I was a baby. Hey, little guys. Uh, I haven't felt this good in months. I've got more than enough energy to find a new home. Look at me go. It's working. Even if we can't help all the trees, at least we're helping the creatures around here who need water. Looks like we need to go and fill up with more water. Thanks, Yashi. This should give the critters in this tree enough time to find a new home. And we'd better get this little eaglet back to his home. Harpy eagles usually nest in the emergent layer, the tops of the very tallest trees that poke up above the canopy. Then let's keep climbing. <laughs> oh, oh. The branches up here are so dry and weak, they won't support the Terragup 5's weight. 
We'll have to use climbing claws the rest of the way. I can't carry you and climb at the same time. Unless... <laughs> That's better. I think perhaps I should stay in the Terragup 5. I'm not much of a climber, and I'd like to write down all the fascinating things we've seen while they're still fresh in my mind. Okay, Professor. We'll be back before you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. My trip to the Amazon rainforest has certainly been... <laughs> oh! Oh, my. <gasps> Fascinating. And potentially very dangerous. This is amazing! Sunlight shines through so plants and animals can thrive right here inside the cave. Uh-uh, not this animal. I need to get back into the nice, cool darkness. Wait, can I get a photo of you before you go? Oh, a brand new species and I didn't even get a record of it. I think we've got bigger problems. Something left a gash in this tree. A cave monster! I knew it! Uh, I don't think so, Quasi. These claw marks look more like they belong to some kind of tiger. A tiger? Yes. Tigers mark their territory like this as a warning to keep other tigers away. Keep other tigers away from what? Their food. <gasps> Where'd that roar come from? I'm not sure I want to find out. Well, I'm not gonna be tiger food. Come on, up this tree! <sighs> Jumping jellyfish! That's an aimed Chinese tiger, an endangered species. It's very rare to see one these days. <gasps> <gasps> Just happy we found you. Unfortunately, you're not the only one who found us. Huh? Yes, she. Lift us up. Hurry. Wait. <gasps> oh, my poor. Yes, she. Lower us back down. We need to help that tiger. She's hurt. Are you sure about this? She's an endangered species. There are only a few of them left in Vietnam. Hello. We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. So please don't eat us. Eat you? Oh, no. I already ate this morning. I'm lost. I was following you to find the way out of this cave. There you go. Good as new. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you think I can trouble you for a lift out of here? Of course. Let's get you back to your natural habitat. Thanks again for the ride, Octonauts. I got a moment too soon. I just got hungry. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> bamboo a day. About 56 apples worth. Wow! And if he doesn't eat enough, he could get sick. Hungry. Dashi, how's it coming along? We're ready, Captain. Excellent. Begin Operation Bamboo Corridor. Bamboo! That looks like a tasty one. You're doing great! <laughs> the panda is following the corridor just as you planned, Min. Yes, we're almost to the other bamboo forest. But I 
think we're in for some trouble. My Babu, me hungry. Hungry, hungry. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Hey, hey, hey! Please, why don't you two just share? Me hungry! Me more hungry! What? I think we need a new plan, Captain! Agreed! Min, you know this area best, and you certainly have experience with pandas. True, but not when they're wrestling. Pandas usually avoid each other if they can. Hmm, then what if we made it easy for them to do just that? Good plan. Come and get it. Tasty bamboo treats. Here you go. Come yum, on, yum. this way. Yum, Tasty yum, bamboo yum. treats this way. That's it. Come on. Yummy, yummy. Hungry. Oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme! It's working. They're following the corridor. Bamboo! Yay! Way to go, everyone! Just a little more. Perfect! Thanks, Dashy. Oh, this is wonderful! Such a beautiful, healthy tree. Thanks for your help, Octonauts. I say, Tweak, does the Terragup have an instruction manual? It sure does, Professor. Right below the console. Why? I'm being pursued by some very persistent howler monkeys. I told them they had to move to a new tree and they didn't take it at all well. Keep them moving, Inky. Maybe we can lead them to a healthy part of the forest. I agree. Moving seems to be the best plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, when traveling up steep inclines, make sure the primary graspers are engaged. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You know, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh! Hey! Why are you chasing us? What? That can't be right. After him! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're doing great, Inky. Follow that branch to the next tree. Uh, I'm afraid that branch doesn't quite reach anymore. But I have an idea. Well, I'll be. Brilliant, Inky. Now the howlers can run across to their new home. <laughs> oh, but it will not work. We're not leaving. Now, with my apologies, we must once again force you to leave. Oh, Mila, you're trying to knock the Terrigo five out of the tree. Leave our friends alone. Fine. We know better than to mess with harpy eagles. Ooh, how dare you chase us into a new tree with more leaves and play to eat and, uh, ooh, better places to sleep. Maybe we should just stay. Oh, right. Uh, actually, we will take this tree too. So, with uh, apologies, it is ours now. So, uh, I guess, thank you. Cap. The eaglet is safe in his nest. The caimans are unstuck from the mud. A lot of thirsty creatures have water. And the howler monkeys have a new home. Thanks to Inky. Uh, uh, mm. Aye, but these issues are part of a much bigger problem that will continue. Then we'll need to continue to check up on the rainforest and do whatever we can to help. And uh, now we know the Terragup 5 is the perfect way to get around this place. In fact, who's up for a quick tour? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Uh, you sure you know how to drive this thing, Professor? Of course, Quasi. I read the manual. Now, hang on! Yeah. <laughs>
to the Octoray. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! <laughs>